celebrating freedom on Main Street. Willow Creek was a small town tucked away in the heart of Ohio. Every July 4th, the town came alive with a celebration that everyone young and old looked forward to. This year was no different. The streets were buzzing with excitement as families prepared for the annual parade, barbecue, and fireworks. By mid-morning, the streets of Willow Creek were packed. Children sat on the curbs waving tiny American flags, their faces painted with stars and stripes. Vendors roamed the sidewalk selling snow cones, popcorn, and lemonade. The parade started promptly at 10 a.m. with a blast of the town's old fire truck horn. Twelve-year-old Emily stood at the front of the parade, holding the banner for her school's marching band, dressed in her red uniform. She smiled nervously at the crowd. Her little brother, Joey, cheered loudly from the sidelines. The parade moved slowly through Main Street, floats decorated with red, white, and blue rolled by, followed by the local veterans in classic cars. The high school Cheerleaders performed routines, and the town's mayor waved from the back of a convertible. The parade moved slowly through Main Street, floats decorated with red, white, and blue rolled by, followed by the local veterans in classic cars. The high school cheerleaders performed routines, and the town's mayor waved from the back of a convertible. By noon, the smell of grilled burgers and hot dogs filled the air. At the town park, families gathered around picnic tables covered in checkered cloths. Emily's family found their usual spot under a large oak tree. Her mom unpacked the cooler, setting out potato salad, baked beans, and her famous apple pie. Joey raced off to the nearby field, where kids were playing games, sack races, tug of war, and a watermelon eating contest kept the children busy while the adults mingled. Emily helped her dad at the grill, flipping burgers while he told her the history of Independence Day. Why do we have fireworks, Dad? Emily asked as she placed cheese slices on the patties. They're a reminder of the battles fought for our freedom, her dad said. The booming sounds the lights, they symbolize the courage and struggle of our country's beginnings. Emily nodded, feeling a new appreciation for the day. As the sun dipped below the horizon, everyone gathered near the lake for the fireworks show. Emily and Joey spread a blanket on the grass while their parents set up folding chairs. The lake reflected the glow of lanterns strung up along the shoreline, creating a magical scene. When the first firework shot into the sky, a hush fell over the crowd. It exploded in a burst of red and gold, drawing gasps of amazement. Then came another, and another, each one brighter and louder than the last. Joey clapped his hands with glee, 
and Emily lay back, watching the sky light up. She thought about what her dad had said earlier. This day wasn't just about fireworks and fun. It was about remembering the sacrifices that made it all possible. When the last firework fizzled out, the crowd began to pack up, their faces still lit with the joy of the day. On the walk home, Joey fell asleep on their dad's shoulder, his little flag still clutched in his hand. Emily walked beside her mom, feeling a deep sense of gratitude. The day had been perfect, not just because of the fun, but because it reminded her of what it meant to be part of a community, part of something bigger than herself. As they reached their house, Emily looked up at the night sky, now quiet and full of stars and whispered to herself, Happy Independence Day. The end.